G on the beat. Yo, what's good, YouTube? I am back here again with a brand new spanking video. And today, you know, we got some more Call of Duty Black Ops 4 reaction and talking about Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Because obviously, yesterday's video I recorded right after the reveal trailer. I never got a chance to see Sniper gameplay until I uploaded the video and everything. I've watched a lot, a lot of videos on snipers. And it's kind of just opened my eyes a little bit. I know I slandered black ops 4 a little bit after the reveal but honestly after like watching the sniper gameplay watching everything listening to people talk about it hearing how fun the game actually is i've actually gone out of my way to actually pre-order the game already <laughs> i know i said i might not even buy the game but who am i can i'm always gonna fucking buy it bro and i know it's a lot like black ops 3 sniping like literally it looks exactly like black ops 3 sniping so right now i'm basically gonna stop all the fortnite content honestly i might depends how i feel make a second channel just for Fortnite, and there might be some other things coming in the future. You guys expect some big things this year. Yeah, about Black Ops 4 sniping, it's literally like Black Ops 3. Are they gonna come? Imagine if I would hit a collat there. Which Black Ops 3 sniping is not that bad. I don't care what people are slandering it, be like, oh, it looks like Black Ops 3, because I obviously didn't bring up that point on why the game might end up sucking or there's too much changes or stuff because it's made by the same developer who cares if it looks exactly like another game it's gonna happen there's games that look like other games out there but honestly after watching everything i've learned to just keep an open mind about the whole game because pamaz was the first person i ended up watching for his gameplay or whatever i got really really excited after i watched him. he's like at the end he's gonna make catalyst for for black ops 4 so you know he's having fun on the game so it must be a good game because pamaz you know, he's an OG in the community. I don't think I've ever played a COD that I don't like. Infinite Warfare is actually the only COD I never actually played. But yeah, I've never played a COD that I don't like. So I'm going to keep an open mind. All the Black Ops series games I've had fun on. And I'll be playing a lot of COD in these next five months. I honestly count the months. I thought it was like only three or four months in October, but then I counted. And it's literally five months until the game comes out. And I'm already all set for the beta. I know I freaking slandered the hell out of the game when I first saw it or whatever. But watching some sniper gameplay, hearing how actually fun it is for the people who played it, kind of made me have an open mind. So I'm going to be dropping some montages in between now and Black Ops 4 release day. I'm going to be playing a lot of COD. No more Fortnite uploads. Pretty much just daily videos on COD. Then I keep uploading daily. I got to think of videos to upload or whatever. And I almost actually didn't even upload the video today about my first thoughts. But then I was like, okay, go ahead because there are still issues that I don't really like. You never know, guys. Changes could be good. I know that the trailer is like getting a crap ton of hate. I know it has a shit ton of dislikes or whatever. Treyarch knows what they're doing on every single Call of Duty. So I got to trust them that this year is going to be good. And they said during the reveal that it's going to be the most playable cod ever released so i obviously have to you know trust that hold up not gonna come and i'm gonna try to play as much black ops 3 as i possibly can games like black ops 3 i kind of was like hesitant about that because of all the thrusters and stuff but it's not that bad in this game not as bad as like infinite warfare or advanced warfare whatever so i'm gonna play this game as much as possible probably gonna drop some montages on it i haven't i haven't hit that many clips on this game though so that might be an issue but i'm gonna try to get used to this type of sniping so when black ops 4 releases and the beta comes out I'm gonna try to kill the game. I kind of got excited when I was watching Chess TV. I literally just finished watching Chess TV before I record this. And he said that he thinks that after Black Ops 4 is released, the growth for YouTube will be back for the Call of Duty community. Which honestly sounds relieving and just amazing that all the growth could come back. All the hype around everybody could come back. As I think about more and more and I watch the trailer, I kind of become more and more excited. Like I said, I know I slammed the game. I kind of sound like a hypocrite making this video. But I'm going to keep it open mind. I think you guys should too. Because change could be good. That's why the Call of Duty community kind of doesn't like it that much right now. Change could be good. You never know. If they do it right, this game could freaking bang. And I'm going to try to kill this game. I'm going to try to go so much off this game, which is going to be honestly incredible. Oh my god. I could have hit a clip there. So I'm going to try daily uploading COD videos. My Fortnite video is another reason why I'm not uploading as much Fortnite anymore. Is because the views are fucking poop, guys. Call of Duty videos, I get so much views. So there's going to be some highlight videos on my channel. Just a bunch of freaking COD videos. Maybe some vlog. Until Black Ops 4 comes out, then I'm going to try to kill it. And hopefully we can have a good year on YouTube, guys. The colors look pretty good. That's another thing. That's another big, big thing. But yeah, that's one of the most underrated biggest things in COD. That people don't realize. I mean, the reason why World War II was such a flop is because they didn't have too many things in the game. Not too many new thing that has the vision system which kind of was a bad thing to do in the first place and the game's colors were just poop so black ops 4 took it in their power to add 
new stuff to the game a lot of new stuff that people don't like but it might be a good thing and the game has good colors so we honestly got to be skeptical about the whole game i don't know about trick shot and hopefully trick shot comes back too because that's a large part of the community it doesn't feel right when it's just a sniping community and no trick shotting community i just hope that trick shotting and sniping both come back there's growth there people are gonna come back to it ogs are gonna come back and maybe we are actually witnessing the death of fortnite yes i said it if this game is good enough it could kill off fortnite because all the ogs will go back to cod you can just pack your bags up Fortnite. And I'm actually going to be playing a lot of World War 2 still. And uploading a lot of World War 2. Because honestly, I still enjoy the game. And Fortnite is going to become more of just like a fun game I do on the side. I'm still going to be playing a lot of Fortnite. For videos for sure, will be COD. And still going to be playing more COD. So I'm excited for the future. I'm excited for the next couple months about what we're going to learn about. So guys, just keep an open mind on the whole gaming situation with Call of Duty Black Ops 4. If you are skeptical and you think that the game is possibly going to be good, it or most likely make the game good and last long. Because if you start thinking a game is crap, like I kind of thought yesterday, but I kind of like changed my whole mindset about it. If you think the game is crap before it come out, you're not even giving it a chance, and then it's just gonna flop for you, and for all the other people who think that too. And one more thing I never like talked about: people who played the 5v5, obviously, people who played the game, they said that they didn't even notice that there was one less person on the team. So apparently, the maps are small enough to you know have fast-paced action. So that's not really bothering me that much anymore. Just a lot of people think they're saying and how the game actually looks in sniping wise and I'm having second thoughts about what I said in the video okay one last thing there's another thing that I realized that I don't like it's that you have to press two buttons now to spawn and you have to press X and then it shows the big mini map for some god unknown reason and then you have to press A or something to spawn in which I don't know how I feel about that especially clip wise because you want people spawning as fast as possible you don't want it to be taking five years for them to spawn in there, so you're not going to get the clip that you want. So I don't know how I feel about that. That's kind of dumb in my opinion. I don't care why they do that. But otherwise, everything that I've mentioned in yesterday's and today's video, I'm just skeptical for the game. I hope it's going to be a good game, guys. I almost just killed your life. Oh, that was nasty. Yeah, 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 yeah. I work hard, I work hard.